Hello and welcome to Ecoholics. Many people say that economics is a very difficult subject. It's very challenging. It's very difficult to understand. Yes, we know that. But then why are we here? Ecoholics brings to you five very easy, very important tips so that you can be successful in economics. Economics is challenging subject. Economics is a difficult subject, but we will make it easy for you so that you can understand and ace this difficult subject and be the master of it. Okay, so let's begin with these five very important tips for all you students who are learning economics for the first time and who are also preparing for different economics related competitive exams. So let's start. Now, the very first thing that I should tell you about economics is that economics will always work with you, economics will, will always support you if you continuously learn it. Economics is a subject which requires continuous learning, continuous updation and probably because of that many people, many students think that it's difficult, it's difficult to keep up with it. But if Imagine that if you keep on learning and keep on updating your knowledge and skills with regards to economics, how easy it would become, how easily you will understand the day to day, year to year, um, age on age things that have been happening in the whole world economically. How easily will you understand the transitions of economic ages, economic ideologies, economic theories and how easily we'll be able to capture all of those. So economics is a very very interesting subject which if you keep up with continuous learning, continuous updation will be very helpful for you not just in your competitive examinations but also for your upgrading of knowledge. Now let's go to point number two. The next point is critical thinking. Critical thinking is a very important aspect of economics. Critical thinking requires a lot of analysis, comprehension, comprehension of not just theoretical concepts, but also data. Um, it requires you to understand points, understand the concepts, and then up, try applying them. You will not be able to apply them specifically, for example, if you learn a certain growth and development model, okay, you will not be able to apply it in specific, um, but you can research about it. You can think about ways in which presently economies are dealing with the same theories that have been written which are age-old theories, are they relevant now? Are they not relevant now? When will be those times when they will be again relevant? So when you think from that angle, you start being critical about it. Many students think that critical thinking is equal to criticism. And so uh, many theories, uh, many books, in fact, you will see that, um, you know, and at many places you will see that uh, students write about a theory and then they criticize it. But there are, no, there are no specific grounds mentioned on the basis of which they, the theories are being criticized. So, which is why when you develop the critical thinking by reading more of economics articles, economics theories, booklets, magazines, then you develop that analytical skill to understand that a specific theory can be correct during a specific time period and if that same time period or similar um, similar features of this of that time period are repeated in some other time period then probably that theory will again be applicable or relevant right so critical thinking is also very very integral now tip number three Tip number three is quantitative skills well hello everyone every student is so threatened of mathematics, mathematical economics, econometrics, statistics. But why? Economics without all of these is also relevant. But economics 
with quantitative subjects is much more interesting, is much more competitive, will have or will give you rather much more competitive edge because you will then not just theoretically know the concepts of economics but will also uh, showcase the different theories and uh, you will be able to present and comprehend the data that uh, summarizes that theory, summarizes that concept. So which is why quantitative skills are very very important. Many students um, get confused that shall they, uh, shall they pick up some quantitative subjects during their graduation or during their post graduation so that they will be able to ace a certain competitive examinations. So for all of them, for all the students who are learning economics, well, if you develop your skills initially in your initial years of education uh, with regards to quant, um, whether it's some mathematical topic or some statistics or some econometrics, it will be great. But if you have not developed it yet, it's completely okay because you can start afresh. You can start from today. Okay, we are there to help you out understanding difficult quantitative subjects very easily and you acing that subject, right? So, quantitative skills. Then, fourthly, effective communication. Now, many students think that economics is such a challenging subject and if we want to ace that subject, then we should focus completely on the theory, on the quant, practice, uh, read the reference books, material, etc, etc. But doing all that, you should not forget that a very integral part of learning economics and being successful in learning economics is also completely uh, communicating it effectively communicating it and how do you communicate you can communicate through paper or email basically you can write clearly and in conceptual clarity so your written skills should be great but also your communication skills verbal skills should also be great so you should uh, you should be able to strike a proper intellectual conversation with anyone of a, of any age and make them understand a certain economics concept with clarity in simple language that will be uh, the time when you have effectively communicated so it's a very integral part many of the competitive exams demand for a certain personal interview personality test in which students um, often get afraid that how will they communicate all of those things that they have prepared so well and which is why you should always remember that the personality does not build in a day you should be able to communicate right from the first day and start building your skills of communication right from the first day of learning economics strike a conversation with intellectuals professionals teachers mentors and understand how you need to develop your skills and how your skills will be honed for economics, right? And lastly, the fifth tip is that economics is an interdisciplinary approach, meaning that economics is not a unidimensional subject that you can only learn the subject in isolation. No, economics along with so many different other topics and subjects like management, like science, like um, statistics and facts, um, like humanities. These are different streams like commerce, different streams which have economics as an integral um, area. And which is why you need to learn how to engage the different topics of economics with different dimensions. That's why we have a certain subject known as environmental economics, which is completely a scientific subject, which uses different analogies of physics and co uh, concrete science, but also economics. And so is the subject called law and economics. So law and economics also uses the different economic policies and how to apply them 
to formulate a certain legal action and these new and emerging dimensions of economics make it an interdisciplinary subject so you cannot study this subject in isolation and which is why we always tell you to read regularly the newspapers the current headlines editorials the different opinions of different economists so that you have all rounded information and you can frame your own suggestions you can frame your own opinions you can uh, communicate better economic concepts and of obviously you uh, become much more successful not just as a learner but also as a person who knows economics and has an intellect to understand and comprehend economics so these were the five important tips to not just learn but be successful at economics i will bring more such important and very um, helpful tips to crack different other areas of economics and crack competitive examinations of economics but till then stay tuned to ecoholics <laughs>